get into the you know final bracket. It's just round robin pools. Yeah, and that is one of the best parts about the arcade is that we are running round robin. You know, a lot of times it takes a little bit longer to run the pool, but when you do so, you know, it gives lower level players that don't even make it out or don't really have a shot at least more games. You know, right. they get they get their money's worth a little bit more, and that's really what this event's about. Is you know everyone gets their money's worth. Right. Yeah. They definitely they put down their. Ten, fifteen dollars for a weekly, and sometimes you go all into and it stings a little bit. But if you end up getting the guaranteed six or seven matches that you're going to get out of a round robin pool, sometimes yeah. worth it. Yeah, exactly. And then we also have the amateur bracket as well. Oh, we have an amateur Don't bracket rolling out, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. They're going full stop. And then even on top of the amateur bracket, if you end up dropping out of the amateur bracket, they have a little promotion going on. If yeah. You're if free, you, you're free. If you lose every match in pools yeah. and then go O two in res bracket, you get your entry you fee get back. Your money back. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I got a funny story about that. But right now, I got Scoop Dog and Raven opening up game one here in uh, wave two of pulls. Yeah, so it is going to be the Palutena versus the Robin. Going to be kind of a matchup where they're going to be weighing each other out, not really, you know, trying to commit to too much. They both have really solid projectile game. Yeah. Uh, between the auto reticle and, like, the arc, th arc thunders, rather. And it almost seems like, you know, uh, Raven's going to be primarily sticking with that projectile wall because that's just the character that is, uh, you know, uh, Robin, but on the flip side of it, if Scoop Dog wants to go into the Palutena and get the airplanes going, we'll probably see the airplanes coming out. But Raven doing a very good job so far, just playing the keep out game. Yeah, and we're seeing a great job of Raven charging up these projectiles, and then as soon as Scoop, Scoop Dog tries to jump in, he's jumping up, throwing out the Nair with the Levin Sword. It's a very big hitbox, kind of a get off me tool, and then he just goes right back, starts the plan all over. And yeah, just in a little bit of a shock to you know clear out the zone, and here you go, right back to that's what you're saying, right with the Levin Sword hit. And then right back to charging. Off stage, Scoop Dog might have an opportunity to capitalize. Ooh, but a good arc fire, good play right there coming out with an up smash. Yeah, it and there it is, Scoop Dog overcoming. He actually has the read on the grab, but the arc fire is already out. It is active. It catches him, knocks him out of the grab, and that's going to be the first stock for Raven to be able to find the up smash out of it. Good back air countering that ledge jump. And Scoop Dog just trying to close out the stock. Here's that ledge trap, the arc fire, looking like it's mini holy water. You know, the OG from Smash 4, yeah. right? Oh, and he catches the Levin Sword, hits him with the Elf Thunder. Covering a lot of land, he couldn't land. They had to wait for the, uh, you know, the, the fire to come out, and he's, he's all, all business right now. Even holding him up, he's going to get back. Yeah, here we go. Still more extra credit and that was coming a, out for Raven. That was a great aggressive option right there for Raven. Scoop Dog knew that he was too far out. He had to recover, so he goes for the Nair. But Raven actually throwing out a hitbox of his own first so that Scoop Dog isn't able to get the edge guard. Down throw it back and not going to connect, but just a raw forward air is going to catch the jump out there for Raven. That's going to be the first stock evening this set, or this first game up. Yeah, but unfortunately, the Nair planes, you know, I was about to say, uh, Raven's building up a pretty strong lead, but you get hit by a few Palutena Nairs, and they lead to another one and another one. Maybe a misplay right there had a little grab on the get-up attack, but didn't capitalize on it. This little, little bit, oh my god, speaking oh. of huge damage. Oh, where can you go? Because even if you, you know, roll past the... Uh, the fire, the thunder's still gonna catch you. Yeah, you got hit by everything. I saw, I saw arc fire. I saw arc thunder. I saw, El, you know, El thunder, I saw everything. Getting everything hit. out there, but a quick back here for Scoop Dog. Gonna try and answer it back. Not gonna do it. A high recovery for Raven. Great avoidance right there, and another fire into the El thunder. And you know, I respect the attempt. It's just unfortunately sometimes our best plays don't connect. Yeah, Scoop Dog was trying to make a play to get right back into it. Unfortunately, Raven survived, and he's just pulling away now with a little bit of a lead. Yeah, and we keep seeing Scoop Dog go for the neutral gaps over and over. D back here once, pressures the shield. Scoop Dog drops it, tries to go for something aggressive. Raven with another one. That's going to take game one with a honestly pretty strong two stop. Right. And you can hear the crowd heating up just a little bit. I'm not sure if we're getting that on the microphone, but we got it in our Yeah, we got, <laughs> we got some energy coming out from the crowd today. Both them rooting on there. Hometown heroes or their, you know, their crewmates is trying to make it happen. Scoop Dog a little bit on the ropes. Raven taking that first set. You know, just really solid play coming out. It's, you know, didn't look too frazzled. Got the projectile wall going. Went to his uh, Levin Sword when he needed to. And just a very clean game, as we're saying. Scoop Dog, on the other hand, had a couple of misplays that just, if he had, yeah. if he had secured those and uh, executed certain situations, it might have been the reverse script. So we got a pretty close match, for sure. Yeah, I mean... You know, just the stock count doesn't tell the whole story, right? Yeah. You know, there was some close plays Scoop Dog almost was able to get. So, you know, he's going to try and clean up his game plan just a little bit, and maybe he'll be able to take this to game number three. That's definitely the nature of Ultimate. You know, there are, there are all kinds of neutral exchanges that are really small and intricate. But every once in a while, you know, the match always comes down to very key key moments just that, that, are, make, that are make or break, whether you win or lose. 
All right, but a good combo right, right here for Scoop Dog. Quick 64% unanswered, 73. Puts him on the platform, but he doesn't get the near chase. Yeah, Ooh. playing a much more aggressive and keeping Raven, just not letting, letting him set up anything so far. A great fire to recover right there. Scoop Dog still not taking a single percent. Raven sitting at 116. Can he get off this ledge and find a hit? There it is, double forward air. No, no old fashioned zero to death, just uh, making it happen the hard way. But oh, here's a big, oh man. So much ledge trap pressure. Scoop Dog doesn't really look like he has an answer for it. Yeah, and we keep seeing him neutral get up every single time into these arc fires. He's got to mix it up at some point. And maybe, you know, just try to mix it up to throw a roll off, maybe a ledge drop. I don't know, just something to not get hit by every projectile that, <laughs> that Robin has to offer. No, no projectile needed a back air closing out that stock, though, coming out from Scoop Dog. Yeah, and finally, Scoop Dog drawing first blood right here. This is going to be huge if he can keep this lead. Yeah, you know, with a, with a little bit of a lead, because we talked about last game, and he played that entire match just from behind. Let's see what he's able to do, and just if the lead is the weather gaze that he needs, just to have the wind in his sails moving forward, doing so much damage. He actually read that high recovery that time, but he didn't actually throw out a hitbox. So resetting once again. Raven still on the ledge here against Scoop Dog. Great nose for Atu right there, just catches him holding shield at the ledge. All right, a little bit of a mix-up. <laughs> Coming back on. Very that'll, that'll, you know, that sneaks up on people just because he has that command grab. People like to hold shield in the ledge trap situation. Yeah, I mean, very aggressive, but it works out in his favor. Dash that, not going to be able to do it. Scoop Dog saying at 139%, very dangerous territory, whiffing a grab and taking a back air for it. Yeah, good uh, presence of mind coming out from Raven to punish that whiff of the grab. Maybe even a little bit of a shimmy action just to kind of fade out a grab attempt to get that back air. All right, down throw. Is that going to be the back air? No, he actually waits. Yeah, there's a little bit of information, right? Waiting yeah. in that situation on the throw. Yeah, exactly. He knows Raven wants to air dodge it. Now, Jab actually sends a very horizontal angle. Very dangerous for Raven. Down smash. Yeah, all over it. And that, that lead that was starting to dwindle away. It's all the way back up to full uh, Scoop Dog and Firm Control here, game two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, as long as he doesn't do anything too crazy, he's got to bring it home for at least the game three situation. Yeah, it really looks like he's starting to figure out Raven just a little bit. He's really catching on to these high recoveries Raven's been liking to do. Right. And uh, Raven almost says does not have as much time as last game to really you know, set up or anything. We see a lot more sword action coming out from Robin. I, or Scoop looking for the down to a ledge, not going to catch the two frames until Raven is going to get back on stage, roll in, and the jab is going to force Scoop Dog in, into disadvantage this time. Got a shield up in that, that time. I could see Raven just kind of salivating just a little bit. As soon as the arc fire hit anything, I could see the arc, you know, the thunder was online or the uh, arc fire was online. Yeah, and this is big for Scoop Dog. The arc fire or a book has run out, but the L thunder barely not going to kill. Scoop Dog still, oh my god, <laughs> it's <Ronaldo>. charged. <laughs> All right, there's the arc fire into two, into the up air, almost evening up the percent already. Back though for Scoop Dog. Forcing Raven off stage, there's the double jump. He has to get this down to it right now, but Raven not giving it to him. Catches his double jump. No, oh, and he misses, misses the punish. There. That could be big, oh. But maybe a little uh, spaghetti on Raven's part too, throws out a questionable, uh, you know, up special. Yeah, and Raven has to be very careful. He doesn't have a, never mind, I take it back, the charge, right back. it charges back up. I was sure that he didn't have a charge of the book anymore. I wonder if he was uh, burning it just so that he had time to recharge it. It's hard to, hard I, to say. I would believe so, yeah. And the back here, invincible, it goes through the forward air Raven tried to throw out, and that is Scoop Dog taking us to game number three. Now Raven, of course it go to game three. Yeah, not a bad opening act here. Scoop Dog and Raymond just playing it solid. And I think, you know, in terms of gameplay, changes definitely look like Scoop Dog much more aggressive, much more assertive in the neutral, not really giving Raven any time to set up. And they're playing sword to sword, which is really not the game that, uh, you know, uh, not sword to sword, a Palatine has. Has a staff. The shield, the staff here. <laughs> but weapon to weapon, close quarters instead of really that throw yeah. out projectiles and wait. You know, just throwing out these safe aerials that they can't get hit for, either the back air or the neutral or things like that, disjoints. Uh, versus the sword of Robin. Counterpicking in Smashville, going to a smaller stage. It's uh, interesting. Now, this is where we saw game number one, if I'm not mm. mistaken, where Raven took it pretty solidly, but with no DSR here, th th he is able to run it back on Scoop Dog. Right. We'll see how that plays out. I'd almost wonder if it's just, it might have been better, you know, counterpicking 
a larger stage just to set up because of the whole entire rushdown dynamic we were talking in the last game. I understand being comfortable, oh, I won the first game here. However, sometimes when you play a projectile character, your opponent like just kind of gets in their own head the first game until they figure it out. And sometimes you gotta stick to uh, what helps the projectile player, not what won you the first game. If that yeah. Alright, actually just jumping over the get up grab attempt. No jump here. He goes for the down tilt, but we haven't seen Scoop Dog catch a single one of those actually. Uh, very hip at the meaty part of the uh, by the projectile. But Scoop Dog in firm control, just kind of picking up right where he left off last game. Baits out the uh, down special command grab. I right, back Oh, what? 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 It, uh, he <laughs> ran out of charges of the tome right there. He only yeah. got the first part. But the back air should have hit. I feel like I, I, we need to go back on replay and check that out. I, was, I thought he had a back air for sure. I, lot of shield pressure right here for Raven, both with the Love and Sword and the Elf Thunder. Yeah, Raven doing a very good job of just staying with it, down by so much, and battled right back. It's virtually even coming through. All right, that's the photo air, forces him off stage. He looks for the down tilt once again, but he does not find it. Back here, catches the cross up, and that'll be the first stock going for Scoop Dog on game number three right here. You know, good job by Scoop Dog closing out that stock, but good job by Raven holding steady and just keeping it even. Unfortunately, as I say that, 50 damage, oh, 60 damage. Oh, he loses damage. his jump oh once again, God. but catcher Scoop Dog being aggressive, looking for the edge guard, says, I know you want to edge guard me with that jump. Here's a forward air, catches the teleport in as well with another one, evening up these stocks. Making plays, oh, almost got the read. I thought the ladder was about to start coming out from Raven, but not quite. Yeah, unfortunately, he did not have the Levin Sword available. Raven off stage, and it just seems like Ravens is getting those really clutch. Oh, the ladder, here we go. Yeah, they can string those side specials over uh, if they, you know, catch their hits done correctly. And what was once a really huge lead for Scoop Dog, it's virtually even. Raven going for the hard reads with the down smash. Yeah, no, the one thing people don't realize is there's actually two hits of that down smash, so a lot of time they drop shield after the first one, and then they get hit with the second one. Ooh, nice back right there from Scoop Dog, and that's gonna be the... Oh, that's going to be a 2-1 lead right now in terms of stocks. The crowd is heating up right now. Both well, the players have come this far. They'd be ashamed to lose it. This seems, that seems to be the story. Ravens are battling right back into it, but as soon as he drops a stock, Scoop Dog puts on that Palutena special of 62% damage or something like that in answer. He looks for the down smash off the Arc Thunder, but does not find it. Reflector coming out on the Levin Sword, giving it right back to Raven, says, try again. Yeah, and uh, Raven says, all these back airs. Ooh. Down smash. Got a little antsy in air dodge and took the down smash. And Scoop Dog really starting to run away with it. Down throw looks for the up air, but does not find it. Raven able to air dodge out, but now he's back off stage. Are we going to see an edge guard for Scoop Dog? No, he's just waiting. And there's the explosive flame. It's not going to kill. Off stage. Here we go. Oh, the neutral almost picked it up. And it's starting to be at any percent. Anything's going to kill. Yeah, this is really dangerous territory for Raven. Scoop Dog really starting to run away with it. Jumps from ledge, tries for the forward air. There's the Nair. Is it going to kill? I, yep, it, is it is right off the top. And when in doubt, Nair it out. There you go, Scoop Dog with very impressive win. Was down early on the ropes, but battled back like a champion. Let's see where he goes for the rest of the bracket. Yeah, I mean, he really, you know,